Hello everyone. Big surprise. From now onwards, every Wednesday, we'll bring you paper one practice from Valax. Introducing you to one of the new faculty members at Valax. We have a lot of people teaching paper one. Jobin is now working with us full time. Mr. Jobin David. Hello. <laughs> Jobin has a great background from mathematics, education, UPSC coaching, everything. So he is confidently dealing with all these topics and we will be able to bring you some good sessions on paper one also from now on. Today's topic is average. Yes, yes. You know that... Uh, Maths from the basics, we need to know thoroughly and we need to go to some advanced level for net. Isn't it, Jobin? Yes, yes, definitely, ma'am, definitely. And you know what, guys? Jobin and me have taken a, an oath that we will do our best to make our paid course students as well as YouTube on open course students score 100% in mathematical reasoning and DI. Yes, yes, sure, sure. You know what, guys, if you do 100% correctly in mathematics and DI, you will find a lot of uh, advantage. It will be easier for you to pass. So, Jobin and me are ready. Yes, yes. So, yes, ready. every yeah, Wednesday. Yeah. So exciting. So, yes. guys, this is math. So, paper, pen. Ready with you? Take a pen, take paper or a book. And let's go. Jovin, let's start yes. with the first question. Okay, let's start. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So from today onwards, we are starting the quiz series. First question. Yes, ma'am. Can we move on? Yes. Yes. I think they are ready with the paper. I'm okay. so excited. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So first question. Yes. Can I read this, Jovin? Yes, sure, sure, sure. Find the average monthly income of six persons. Okay. There are six people here. And uh, they're, imagine they're all in one family. Yeah. What is the <laughs> average monthly income? If you know, you will know yeah. whether we can plan that vacation or buy this yes. gadget. Isn't it? It is good to plan our lives if we know this average. Yeah. Wow. 20,000. One person 50. gets. Another 15,500, 22,000, yeah. 18,000, 25,000, and 28,000. Yeah. Very simple question. They can do it. Very simple yes. one. Yes. Yes. I need the answers now. And we need so the when answers. We are going from the basics to the advanced yes. level, right? Yes. Yes. This, this, these are our basic questions. Like we have basic that. questions first. Yeah. Basic questions. Is it 21,415? Are you doing, guys? Is it 21,405? Rupees oh. and 50 pairs. Like uh, in the, the NDA can confuse the uh, like the aspirants like this, these type of options, like oh. near to options, they can confuse. That's why like uh, near to options are given. So let them like if we get 214, then we will go to the answer. Like we should get at the all the numbers we should get. That's why. Let me calculate, Jobin. Oh, okay, ma'am. Speed, fast, Definitely fast. Definitely it is not 22,000. Yeah, good, good. That's a good, uh, good guess. Okay, that's a good guess. It yeah, you yeah. have to eliminate like that, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sure. Sure. Yeah. I you're very I'm good sure it is a, like... A or C. I'm type. Yes. I'm calculating. Everybody, yes. what do you think? Jobin, everybody is doing. They are sending in answers. Oh, fine. Yes. I am looking at their chat messages, Jobin, and uh, if they have any doubts or anything, that I will immediately um, okay. let you know. Also. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Jobin, let's go to the answer. Yes, okay, ma'am. Yeah, the answer is the coming to 21,416.67. That's the answer. Can I go to the explanation? Yes, please. Yes, okay. So here comes the explanation that, uh, like, we know we how we calculate average sum of all observations by total number of observations. That is a basic formula for average. So do remember this. Average is equal to sum of all observations. Divided by total number. So just take the sum of all six. You know how to take the sum and divide it by six. So I think the sum you you will you will be getting as one lakh twenty eight thousand five hundred 
and you should divide it by 6, you will get the answer as 21,416.67. Very good. I got that too. Yes. Good, ma'am. Good. Very good. Okay. Yes. Next session. Next, Next question. Okay. They are ready, I think. Can I move? Some. Question number two, ma'am. Yes. In the first 20 overs of a cricket game, the run rate was only 4.6. What should be the run rate in the remaining 30 overs to reach the target of 320 runs? Yes. yes. I am sure a lot of people will know this one. Yeah. Because yeah. of actual factors in watching yeah, cricket. <laughs> they watch cricket. They, they guess a lot. YouTubers, please answer. We are waiting for your answers. Yes. Is it 7.5 or 7.6? Very close. 6.9 or 6.7? Very close answers you have. YouTubers, tell us the answer. First 20 overs. Run rate is only 4.6. Run rate itself is an average. Is it, Jobin? Yes, 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 yes. Like what should be the run rate have... in the remaining 30 overs? Yes, yes. Actually, 20 overs, we have 4.6. We have a clue. I will give a, give them a clue. Like, you yes. should find out the uh, uh, runs in the first 20 overs. So, you have the run rate as 4.6. So, just multiply, you will get the runs. So, that is how average works out. Yes, yes. Some answers are coming, ma'am. Yes, yes, some answers are coming. Some people are saying 7.6. Yes, yes. Is yes, that yes, the answer, saying. Jobin? Yes. Let me move to the answer, right? Yeah, 7.6. It's 7.6. 7.6. They have got it correctly. So, again, I'm going to the explanation. I think they know the explanation very well. But some people may not. Let us explain. Yeah. Okay. So, runs in 20 overs, it's like 20 into 4.6. We have 92 runs. They have already scored. I think this won't be our, our nation. India, it won't be. India bats very well in 20 overs. Right, ma'am? Yeah. <laughs> this will be some small countries. Let, let us uh, imagine like that. So, uh, runs remaining is actually, uh, what is 320 is the total target they have. So, in 20 overs, 92 is already scored. So, the remaining is 228. So, you should divide now 228 by 30. You will get the answer as 7.6. Is there yes. some easy technique to divide in the exam hall? Uh, easy technique? Uh, 228 by 30, like actually, uh, it is like somewhat you can, uh, 7, 7 into 30, it can be near to 210. So, huh. you can actually uh, eliminate two options by six, that C and the options can be eliminated. Easily eliminate and, and then go look for the two options. And this three digit by two digit is very simple, ma'am. They can do. Like yes. Our students are very well in good in maths, division and all. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Okay, then. Next question. This is exciting. I'm learning and loving yes. it. Yes, 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 ma'am. Can I move on? Yes. Okay. The third one. It's about a family. Ah, I'll read it. Yeah, fine. A family consists of two grandparents, yeah. two parents and three grandchildren. Oh. 2 plus 2 plus 3. Yeah, fine. Exactly. You got it. Yes. The average age of the grandparents is 71 years. That of the parents is 38 years. And that of the children is 7 years. So there yes. are three averages here. What yes, is yes. the average age of the family? I know yes. this one. Yes, yes. YouTubers, I, are you yes. doing this? Yes, ma'am. You can do it. Like uh, we we will we will look for what how how they do or like will you do the first thing will you be the first one to do? Who we is the first a, one? Let us see. Yes, we can. Hey, have a we, we should really give gifts to the people who say the answer first. Uh, what yes, yes. Responding those who are responding. Yes, yes. Those yes. who say the answer first should yes. e talk. Uh, should e WhatsApp me and we will send you a gift. You should send your address. What do you say? <laughs> yes, sure, 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 sure. I am good one at offers <laughs> and gifts. <laughs> <laughs> so much of <laughs> Lokesh, you have to text me, okay? We will give you a gift. I will give you my email ID. You have to text, uh, email me and I will send you the, you have to email me your address. Lokesh, yes. I'm writing your name. That was the first question. Yes, yes, yes. Lokesh, I think he first answer, answered the second question first. Yeah, I think they are doing the question. What is yes, the answer, yes. Jobin? Let's go into the answer. Let's go into the answer. Yes, it is. Ma'am, can you guess? Any can you guess from your side? I didn't do. <laughs> any, any guess? I was like, lazy here. Le, le, guess. Let uh, go for a guess. Let if, if if it is correct or not. 
ंग Two into seventy-one plus two into thirty-two plus three into uh, the average age of the children that is seven, and total number already, ma'am said that is seven. Two thirty-nine by seven, you will get just thirty-four point one four. The first clue was given by you. That is the total number is seven. So that that they got. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So question number one, Lokesh came first. Question number yes. two, Dasing. Please call email us. Yes. Kalyani yes, ma'am. Question number, three, question number three, I think, Shweta. Question number three, Shweta. Three, three, Shweta. Correct. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Next. Okay. Question. Can, next question. Okay. So this is like somewhat. Uh, we cannot expect uh, what somewhat, somewhat a reasoning type question in maths, but we can. NDA can do anything. Like they can, they can give questions like this. Like they will give statement one, statement two, and you should say whether it is sufficient to answer the question. Mm -hmm. Like these, these type of questions can come. So, like, I have a, given a try for you. Like, uh, this is like, uh, there is a mathematical statement over here. Uh, so you should answer. Just don't find the answer. Just answer if it is uh, alone. One is alone sufficient, or two is alone sufficient, or either one or two is sufficient. And if you if you have one or two, you cannot answer. That is like okay. So can you, ma'am? Can you read the question? There, I will read the question. Yes. Jobin, from next time, we should leave a space in the right side top. Fine. Our, fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Each sure, sure. of the questions given below consists of a question and two statements, numbered one and two. You have to decide whether the data provided in the statements is or are sufficient to answer the given question. Yes. So the question is: the average age of PQRS four people is thirty years. Yes. P plus Q plus R plus S divided by four. Ah. Uh, Yes, P plus. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. You learned ah, it. You learned it. <laughs> age of P plus age of Q plus age of R plus age of S divided by four is thirty. So, yes, question: exactly. How old is R? Yes, exactly. Now, statement one: The sum of ages of P and R is sixty years. Hmm. S is ten years younger than R. Yes. Yes. Okay. Is this sufficient? Okay, is these two statements are sufficient, or uh, like one is alone sufficient, or two is mm -hmm. alone sufficient? You you need to know. I think uh, we can move to the answer, ma'am. One alone sufficient, while two alone not sufficient. Mm -hmm. One alone sufficient, while one alone no, sorry, two, two alone, alone sufficient, yes, while yes. one alone not sufficient. Yes, yes, yes. Either one or two alone sufficient. Yes. Both are both one and two are not sufficient. Yes, yes, yes. Can I more, ma'am? Ma'am, like, uh, uh, what? Uh, you have any such a like guess? I have to do. YouTube yes. help me, <laughs> ma'am. Ma'am, yes, it is Anitesh. I think said the right answer. Anitesh first. said both one and two are not sufficient to answer. Yes, that's the answer, ma'am. Both one or two not sufficient to the answer. Can I move on to the explanation? Yes. Like you know, uh, as ma'am said. Would like to know why? Yes, P, Q, R, and as ma'am as as you said, divide by four gives us thirty. So exactly, if you want to know the sum sum of anything, you just sub uh, multiply average and the number. You will get the total sum of the four. So that's an easy method. So if you want the sum of any of any any number of observations, or if uh, if you have four four numbers, so the total sum if you want to know. Just multiply the average and the total number. Thirty into four. So P Q P plus Q plus R plus S. You will get one twenty. So that is the first equation we have. Now from statement one we have P plus R is equal to sixty, and from statement two we have S is equal to R minus ten. Now huh. we have three equation and four variables we have. We cannot solve that because if we have one variable we should have one equation, two variable two equation. Three variable should have three equations. So we have four variables. We should have at least relating to same relation with four variables. Like now, oh. uh, in the first statement, it is P plus R related, and the second statement is S and R related. Huh. If if again P and R was related, we can find R from that. 
Right. That's it. So can we you can explain find... slowly one more time? Yes. So we Some have four variables. Find it very fast. Yeah. Four variables we have here. Ah, P, Q, R, and S. P, Q, R, R, and S. It's some age of some persons. Let it be. Yeah. Any variable. So like uh, P, Q, R, and S. So from statement ah. one, uh, first equation we had it as P plus Q plus R plus S equal to one twenty. We have. Ah. So from statement one, what what do we have is the sum of the ages of P and R is sixty. That is P plus R equal to sixty. Huh. And now, if we want to solve P and R, we should have an equation with P and R on the second statement also. Ah, uh, yes. But here, S and R is related. So, if at all a question coming like that, if P and R is first related and then S and R is related, you can go for like both statements are not uh, like it's sufficient to answer the question. Yes. So, can so you show like... the question again, uh, Jobin, yes, so that yes, people yes. will this understand? Is this is the question. Oh. The average age of T, Q, R, and S is 30. And huh. some of ages, like this is. This can be, like, this type of questions can be asked by, like, uh, like uh, to make uh, maths more difficult. Like, yes. it's not difficult, actually. If you if you make it into the uh, mathematical terms, it is very simple. Yeah. We get confused, uh, nevertheless. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, let's move on to the fifth one. Very good. Yes. Thank you, Jobin. Yes, yes ma'am. Thank you. Yes, it's Hi. like. It's about a car owner. Ah, yes, ma'am. But but it's not uh -huh. in India actually. Okay, you, when you see the price of the petrol, it's not in India. Uh, yes. <laughs> Some other place. Okay, so <laughs> we should say dollars or something. Uh, yeah, but I think like I, I so I'm generous that I, I put it as a piece. <laughs> <laughs> a car owner buys petrol at ten rupees. Okay, this is fifty years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Rupees twelve fifty and rupees sixteen per liter for three successive years. Oh ho ho ho! Yeah. Price is increasing. Yeah, so yeah. First yes, year yes. ten rupees yes. per liter. Yes. Second year twelve point five. Uh, twelve yes. rupees fifty pesos. Yes. Third year bap re sixteen rupees. Great, great increment. <laughs> oh. What approximately is the average cost per liter of petrol? Or a average cost of Per liter cost, yes. he spends 8,000 each year. Yes, yes, yeah. 8,000 each year, he, he has spent it uh, on this petrol. So, the total, total amount you have, like if one year is 8,000, for three years you have 24,000, simple. And and one, one clue is like, you, if uh, both the ways people will do, but you can look at the option, these are very close options. Oh. Okay, they can, they can get confused. I think uh, some 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 are onto the answers. Ambuj Kumar is saying that A it is. I think they they can specify the answer. Like if the question number it is, uh, they can specify the answer, ma'am. I think right. Like if uh, beyond A, B, C, D, they can type the numbers. I think that will be more uh, comfortable. Twelve point eight three. Some people have typed, but Ambuj Kumar, we can. Hari yes. Yes. Haripada, uh, because we don't know where they started from. <laughs> yeah, where they started from, I we don't know. That's it. That's it. Uh, just type the numbers, then it will be. Aripada uh, Chakrabarti, maybe is. No. Uh, hmm. No, Ambuj Kumar is first. Ambuj Kumar. Uh, yes, yes, yes. From so now on, I... please, please type the full answer, answer not ABC. Can I move on to the answer, ma'am? Yes, please. The answer is 12.37, ma'am. Nobody got it correct. Or oh, nobody got it. Like, what did they do, Liz? I think they, they added 10, 12.50, and the, like 16, and then divided by 3. That's not a that's not the correct one. Like oh. if you if you have this close type of options, you don't do that. Like if you if you uh, add the now, uh, like it, it is somewhat a logical uh, answer, but it won't be correct. The the correct method is like you should find out the total quantity of petrol. Slowly, slowly, Jovin. Ah, yes. Sorry. Uh, we want to find out the total quantity of petrol for three years. Huh. Okay. So, first year, how many rupees? 8,000 he had huh. spent. So, 8,000 by 10. Correct. Per liter is 10. So, 800 liter. Yeah. So, in a year, 800 liter. Likewise, we need to calculate each year. Got it. So, in second year, it is 640 liter. Third year, it is 500 liter. Huh. And the total quantity of petrol for three years, you have the uh, answer here, 800 plus 640 plus 500. Right. So that is 1,940 liters in total. Got it. Yeah. Now, this liter should be divided by like to, uh, the total amount by the liters. 24,000 ah. by liters, you will get 12.37. Ah. Like, uh, I think 12.83, they got by adding 10, 12.50 and 16. 
Yes. Like if they add it, if the only option in the uh, question was 12.37, they can guess and do it. But if the options are like this, they should go for this method. Like if they click 12.83, it will be wrong. 12.37 will be the answer of NTA. Got it. Got it. Yes. So whenever you have, uh, whenever you have each quantity like petrol, any quantity like a, a person spent it for whole year, go for each year's quantity. Then take the addition. Then buy the total amount or the total quantity. Then you will get the answer. I think I think they they understood the thing. Did you understand? Tell us in the chat box. Yes. Ambu Janitesh, Manvir, Sunanda, Durjay. Did, did you understand? Did you, did you, did you get? We, we all thought it will be easy just to do quickly, but it is difficult. Yes, yes. I yes. mean, difficult matlab, so much calculation is there, na? Yes, 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 yes. Like, think that, think that, uh, do my question. NDA people won't give you uh, a simple addition and division. Correct. They won't give you. Like at some point of time, it can be. Like they won't give you. Ah, yes. Got it. They understood. Very good. Yes. Next yes. Question. Let Next us question, ma'am. Okay, let us yes. move. Question, question number six. six. Again, it's like a cricket. average. Cricket. Yes, 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 again. A batsman has a certain average runs for 15 innings. In the 16th inning, he made a score of 45 runs and thereby decreased his average by 5. Oh, decrease. Ho gaya. Yes, yes, ma'am. So, his average after 16th inning is dash. Yes, yes, yes. Once but again, let me read Jobin so that everybody will understand. Yes, ma'am. A yes, batsman yes, yes. has a certain average runs for 15 innings. Yeah. 1 to 15 certain average. Yes. In the 16th inning, he made a score of 45 runs. Yeah. There only we know the score. Before that, we don't know the score. Yes, no. And thereby decreased his average by 5. Yes. Now, his average after the 1 to 16 average is what you're asking. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, after the 16th inning, like total innings, like after the 16th inning, what, what is his average? Got it. Options like are has... 120, yes. 125, 115 yes. and 105. Yes. yes. Guys, tell Some us the answer. Some batsman from our India. That will be Sachin Tendulkar. Uh, yes. Guys, you have any guess? first answer is getting a prize. Yeah, yes, yeah, sure, be... sure. You have any guess, ma'am? Are I, I, I because I'm reading, <laughs> I'm not getting to do the question. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Like, they let them answer. Let them answer. <laughs> My YouTube babies will save me. Uh, Jobin, they will tell yes. me the answer now. <laughs> yes, yes. B, ma'am, the answer came. Ritu, Ritu. Ritu is saying B. B, okay. Let me, let us, okay. 125 is the answer. Okay, 125 they are saying. Can I get any more to answer, ma'am? Yes. Ritu and Manjula have said 125. Um, it is actually 120. Disappointed. Oh. Like, what, what mistakes can I, can I, can I uh, show that? Yeah. Yeah, please show. They got the... Slowly, uh, okay. We are... Yes, yes. Carefully. Like, you should have average. You don't know, actually, it is uh, average of 15 innings be X. What what we don't know is X. Like, in our life also, we don't know what is X. So, I have a let in maths also, average of 15 innings be X. Okay. So, runs from 15 innings be 15 into X. Correct. Yeah. So, now, 15 into X runs he have. And... With that, in the 16th inning, he scored 45. So, that will be 15x plus 45. Clear? 15x, uh -huh. he have in the runs. Runs from 15. I told you, if you want the sum of all the things, just multiply average and the uh, total number. Mm -hmm. So, average, it is like x. So, total number is 15. 15 into x, you have the runs. Mm -hmm. And total runs in 16 innings be 15x plus 45. You have told that. 16 innings, he have scored, uh, took a runs of 45. Correct, yeah. And what will be the average, this 15x plus 45 by 16? Huh. Yes. But it is said that this average, due to this average, it, the average has decreased by decreased 5. Decreased by 5, correct. So it is x minus 5. It is equal to x minus 5. Already it was x. In the After the 16th inning, it is x minus 5. Correct. Yes. So by we solving that point, yeah. Uh, by solving, we will get x equal to one twenty five. So everybody will go for one twenty five. But the question is after sixteenth inning because it is less. 
the, it already we we took excess average of 15 innings oh oh so oh. average after 16th inning should be five less than that right so answer is 120 ga got it got it i understand yeah 125 they they got the answer x 125 very good well and good they did a very good job but be careful that read the question you need the average after the 16th inning yeah, so yeah. it is you should subtract minus 5 because it is said that it, that the average is decreased oh you tricked us jovin yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay let me let me see if i understood average of 15 innings that means 1 to 15 all add together divided by 15 that is x yeah so runs from 15 innings is 15 into x because yes that's you go like, yeah it is like 1 is x then 15 into x yes total runs in 16 innings so we already know the runs in 16 innings is 45 yes so yes in x plus 45 correct yes 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 the And average, average is add all the runs 15x yes. plus 45 divided by 16 16 yeah we already know that the average after the 16th inning is minus decreased, 5 decreased decreased by minus 5 yeah so that minus 5 we have to do at the end yes 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 ah. so by solving we are getting the x only so we got should it, for, we should remember that what we took as x our average of 15 innings was x yes guys yes. tell us did you understand is it okay are you enjoying this is it helpful tell us in the chat box Meanwhile, yes. Jovin, let us move on. Yes, yes, yes. I'm same question. Somewhat the same ah, pattern. Same. Somewhat the same pattern because if if you, if they tried that, ah, uh, they will be getting this. Jovin, I have a wonderful this. idea before going into the question. Yes. We should say, paper one practice average cricket team. <laughs> <laughs> Then everybody will be coming, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Sometimes fashion team, sometimes cricket team, sometimes team, sport yes. team. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Question number seven. Look, a batsman has an average, certain average of runs for eight innings. Yes, yes. In the ninth inning, he yeah. scores eighty-six runs. Mm. They are increasing his average by five runs. Opposite yes. of what happened earlier. Yes, yes, yes. What is his average after the ninth innings? This one will get right. Yes, yes, ma'am. There, sure, sure, sure. They will get the answer of X, and just add five to that, you will get the answer. Yes. So, without telling us the answer, can you explain a little, Jobin? That they need time yeah. to tell, tell to calculate. You have you have eight innings there. Let let the average of eight innings be X. You as you have you know eight innings be X. So eight X will be the average of sorry sum of all the eight innings. Hmm. So eight X. If you have in the ninth innings, you have Now eighty six runs. Yes, eighty six runs you have. So eighty six, eight x plus eighty six will give you the uh, in ninth innings runs. The answers are coming, ma'am. I think. So eight x plus nine. Can you can you move to the answer now? Yes. Ambuch. So I think I think it is Ambuch got the no no no. Yeah, Anitesh. 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 Anitesh got it. Anitesh got it. Anitesh got it. Anitesh. Ambuch. Ambuch. I have got the second one right. Yes, yes, yes. Forty uh, one again. Forty one again. Can I show the explanation? Forty one again by solving x, you will get forty one. Ah, plus five. Plus five. Karna hai. Plus five. Then add five. You will get the answer. Same, same thing. What you have, what we have discussed in the last question. Ha. Same thing. Forty one plus five. Karna tha. Isliye anu anu ambuj said forty one first. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, hey, ambuj. <laughs> <laughs> What happened to all the girls? Most, mostly they are men here. Sunanda. Okay. Next question. Next question. question okay. Eight. Okay. Next. Next is I think nine to ah eight eight one eight one. Now again, uh, family. Husband, wife, family, family. We have a lot of themes here. Cricket, family. <laughs> okay. Let me read, please. I'm loving this. The average age of husband, wife, and their child. Three people. Hmm. Three years ago, not mm. now. Yes, was yes. Was twenty-seven yes. years. Yes. That is husband plus wife plus child. Ma- three years ago it was divided yes. by three minus three. Ah uh, yes. Wife and the child five years ago was twenty years. Yes. Okay, guys. I know we have to give variable. Husband is a wife is uh, b child uh, is b age yes, like that. Yes. We get two. Yes. The present age of the husband is. You have to find out a. Yes. Yes. Chanang, I got it. 
if we if we have the options like uh, if we have the options like 10 years 15 years like you can omit it like no husband will be of 15 years or 10 years so obviously long long ages can be but uh, the options will be like near to 35 40 50 it will be so close ah so i think i can, okay let, let them do okay so it they need a little days. time they are coming up with answers yes yes ma'am yes yes Waiting for your answers. Did you give husband A, wife B, child C? Take their average three years ago. 50, 50, oh, 50. Manjula is saying 50. Can I look the answer, ma'am? Manjula is saying, no, give give two minutes. Maybe other people will also say. Okay, Sunanda okay. is saying 50. Manjula is saying 50. Yes, yes, I think so. It is 50. Haripa, Haripada is saying 40. Oh, variety answer. <laughs> Variety answer, Jovin is saying. Yes, yes. Ritu is saying 50. 50, yeah. Okay, let us see the answer. I mean, it's 40. Haripada, like the you, variety. You, Jovin, you cheated us. You <laughs> said variety answer, but that was your correct answer. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so can I, can I, can I go for the explanation please, now? Please, please. Now, Look like uh, the sum of the age of husband, wife and child three years ago. Actually, the average is given as 27, right? Huh. Average is given as 27. So, there are three persons. So, 27 into 3, you will get the sum of them. Let, let it be there. Let it be there. 81 years. 81. 81. Now, the present sum of their ages means they are of three. So, for each person, you should multiply or each person, you should add three, right? So, how many persons are there? Three persons. So, three into three, nine. Total nine should be added to the sum. So, now the present age, sum of the ages of husband, wife and child will become 90. Oh, brilliant. I got it. Yes. Got it. Got it. 27 into three, you have 81 before three years. Now, ah. for husband, you should add three. Wife, you should add three. Child, you should add three. So, three plus three plus three, nine. You should get the present age, sum of their age. That is 90. Let it be there. Now, some of the another relation they said is some of the age of wife and child. Huh. Five years ago, it was uh, 20. Okay, it is yeah. 20. But 20 into 2, only two people are wife and child. So 20 into 2 is 40 actually. Now, five years ago means it is take 40. Some uh, we have 40. Now, for five years, the present some of their ages, 10 both should increase be added by, by five years. So yeah, 10. both increase by 10 should be added. So 40 plus 10, 50. Now, can you see? When the relation comes, wife and child is common there. You yeah. can eliminate that. The only the so when we subtract it, get, get the age of husband got 90 it, minus 50 it. is 40. Brilliant. Why didn't yes, I think it. of that? That's oh, it. That's wow. it. Easy. <laughs> like if you know the concept, then we can go for the simple method. Ah. It is Wasn't it amazing? Easy. Yes. Easy it is. But yes, we yes. messed up. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Like Padma, please email me at gmail.com. <laughs> yes, yes. I told you the right answer. That was correct. You said the right answer and we thought, oh, it must be wrong. But <laughs> Jovin, that was the right answer. Okay, yes, next yes, one. Yes. I'm yes, ready. Ma yes, ma'am. Question number nine. Now it ah. is like weight of some articles and all. Shall I? Yes, yes. The average weight of 13 articles is 32 kg. Mm. Okay. If the average weight of five of them is 28 kg, mm. okay, then what is the average weight of the rest of the eight articles? Mm. Yes. Sounds simple. Mm. Yes, but it is a little tricky, but it is, it's good. Like you have average weight of 13 articles. So it is 32. The average is 30. I told you if you have the total number and the average, if you want to know the sum, just multiply 13 and 32. Ah. Every question we plus, are doing. Ah. Every question we are doing that same one. Like, like in the last age also, 27 into 3. That's 81. So here, 13 into 32, you will get the sum of uh, first 13 articles, the total sum. Huh. And now you have average weight of 8, right? So 8 into 28 gives the uh, uh, sum of 8 articles. So, from total minus 8 articles, we will get the sum of 5 articles. So, that divided by 5 gives the average weight of 5 articles. That yeah, is the yeah, thing yeah, 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 yeah. Did you get it? Uh, Anu. 34 Anu, or 34.5? Anu, Anu is giving the answer, I think. 
before that is it 34 or 34.5 srishti uh, said I, srishti said b then srishti will be the first one i think srishti said 34.5 ma'am it's 34.5 i think i can we can go with srishti yes srishti your turn yes. to email me 34.5 okay let us see the explanation yes ma'am like same as i said total weight of 13 articles be 13 into 32 it is 416 every time you remember if you have the total number and the average just multiply you will get the sum of the observations yes. got it, got am, it. I, am i a little speed ma'am yes i think so i will explain Once more slowly yes yes so if you have total number and the average you just multiply the total number and the average to get the sum of the all observations so 13 into multiply 32. Multiply the total number and the average. Yeah. Yes. You will get the total sum. Sum. Total sum. So now you have total weight of 13 articles as 416. Ha. Huh. And the total weight of first five articles. It is already given that 28 is the average of first five. Ha. Huh. So 28 into 5 gives 140. Yeah. Okay. Now weight of remaining articles be 416 minus this 140. Like we only have 13 articles, right? First to five, the sum is 140. Total is 416. If you subtract, you will get the yeah, yeah. Uh, weight of two seven, uh, like eight articles. So it is 276. Then if you divide it by eight, you will get 34.5. Got it. You don't really have to article. know the actual weight of each article. You can't. No, 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 no. We don't want to. We don't want to. We don't want to. Got it. Yes. That is all these are the same. You are we are doing the same thing. Yes, Not yes. Really. If you if you know the basic formula, you can do it. Got it. Yes. Like what we lack is that we we don't go for the basics and we go for the easy trick. First Are you enjoying be... this, guys? Sorry, it's Jobin, like... I interrupted you. No, 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 no. I think they are in, uh, like if it is max, like if they do it, they can enjoy. Yeah. Change next question. Ten next question. question. Same thing. The average it will. Of, let, shall I read? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. The average weight of 17 articles, same thing, 22 mm -hmm. gauge. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, uh, can I ask you one question, ma'am? Sorry. Huh. <laughs> so, how will you get the total sum? Average weight is uh, 17, average weight of 17, like 17 is 22. into 22. Ah, exactly, ma'am. You get that is 22 into 17. Good. Because it That's is it. like each article is 17. It is like mm, so yes, yes. 22 times 17. Yes, yes, exactly. Addition of another new article, that means mm. 18th article, mm. reduces the average weight by 500 grams. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is this article is smaller than most of the other articles. Ah, yes, yes. It, uh, the average weight is decreases, decreases by know. 500 grams. Yes. What is the weight of the new article? Yeah. Oh, so 22 into 17 will give you the total weight. Total weight of 17. 17 one. articles. Yes, now a new one is added, right? So huh. how, how many articles will be there? 18. Exactly. So the but average have become? Total minus 500 gram from that total. No, no, no. 22 kilogram was the average, right? So from that 500 is subtracted. So 21.50 will, will be the new average of 18 ones. Yeah. If that divided by 18. Ah, yes. Uh, no, no, that multiplied by 18. You will get Multiply, the total sum correct, of correct, correct, correct. Multiply the total by 18, then subtract. Yeah, subtract exactly, exactly. <laughs> Correct, got it. Yes, uh, like, uh, can I can I share the answer? Ah, uh, Jobin, many of your friends are here. Uh, <laughs> there was a person from uh, your church, even his name is Apokutens. <laughs> <laughs> and they we called have Anand, Anjin, then Anand Zakaria. They call me JD, sir. <laughs> yeah, JD, sir. <laughs> Short form of Jobin David, ma'am. <laughs> okay, what is the answer? Sorry, uh, I think the answer is 13. Oh, I didn't put that. 13. 13 is 13. the answer. 13. 13 is the answer. I think first goes to Anitesh, right? Anitesh. Anitesh. Yes, yes. Like the same thing we explained it, ma'am. Let the new weight be X. Yes, yes. We are getting Total. the hang of it. It's getting easier. Yes, yes, ma'am. They are getting, they are getting. Like, uh, can you see the difference? Like, if you do nine questions, if it is getting easy, if you practice 10 questions daily, like maths will be uh, like doing miracles. Yes, true. Let's yes, do yes. every day, every yes. week. Not yes. So total weight is like seventeen articles. It is three seventy four, and the average have become twenty one point five as we said, and the sum of eighteen articles will be eighteen into twenty one point five. That is three eighty seven. And if you 
subtract 387 by 374, you will get 13 as the answer. I think that's clear. Yes, yes. Jerin is also saying you're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like I have posted this like uh, link in the WhatsApp. That's why. Like <laughs> wonderful. Uh, Manveer didn't get it. She's saying fifteen. No, no, no. It's oh, actually it now. Yeah, yeah, it's actually thirty. Anitesh got the first first thing. I think. Uh -huh. Okay, Rina likes the session. Uh, oh. Do we have more questions? A few more? Can we do, Jobin? Uh, one more question. Can can I? Can we? Yeah, one more. 10, then it will be 10, I think. No, it's actually 10 already. 10 already. Okay. But still 11. one free question. 11. One free question. Okay, 11, <laughs> 11 question. 11 question we will. Okay, next question, ma'am. The, the average, average of 50 numbers is 20. Mm. So 20 into 50 is the total sum. Ah, I will say even in my dream. Yeah, exactly, you got it. <laughs> if two numbers, 37 and 43 are discarded, mm. So, from the total, we have to mine, uh, subtract 37 plus 43. Yes, exactly, exactly. Ah, find the average of the remaining numbers. Whatever is remaining, divide, uh, divided by 48. Um, you can do the paper one uh, sessions, I think. <laughs> now, now, you are well versed in maths now. You, are, you can do the paper one sections. Why, why me? <laughs> hey, Jobin, I got 99 marks in SSLC maths. Nine? 99 out of 100. God. <laughs> I didn't, One I mark didn't I lost even... because in geometry, I did not uh, mark correctly. I was in a rush right. and I messed up. <laughs> good, 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 good. That's good. I think, you know what, Jobin? People who know maths will hmm. be good at any subject. Actually, yes. if, if yes, somebody yes. is good at English, that ah. actually means they are good at maths. Ah, yes, yes. Maths is the foundation for everything, but our educational system makes us think maths is horrible. Ah, yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. We are exactly. going to change it, Jobin. Yes, ma'am. Sure, sure, sure. We'll, we'll, we'll. Our students in open courses in YouTube and paid courses should love maths. Yes, sure, sure. Yes. So, what is the yes. answer? I think Argya, Argya is saying the answer. Nineteen point first, first, first. Argya, Argya. Argya Mitra. Ma'am, it's nineteen point one seven. The answer is correct. Nineteen point one seven. Very good. Argya, you have to email me. Kalyani.balat at gmail.com. Yes, yes ma'am. Yeah, the explanation is as so simple that you said average of 50 numbers, it is 1000. The sum of discarded numbers, you have 80. And remaining numbers is 1000 minus 80. You have total huh. remaining numbers be 48 now. Not it is not 50. Yes. Now, because two numbers are discarded. Yes, yes. 920 by 48, you will get 19.17. The answer. Very good. We got yes. it. Yes, it is. Yes, Lokesh is reminding us. Plato's Academy said, let no one without mathematics enter. <laughs> mathematics is so basic. Yes, 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 ma'am. Yes. And it, yes. I believe, Jobin, that maths is like a language. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Sure, sure. Yeah, if you can get that, uh, you know, grammar, mm. you will know you the can. language. Yes, it's sure, a sure. way of thinking. Yes, it's, uh, actually, yeah. I believe that nobody in the world should actually find maths difficult. Yeah, it should be. But unfortunately, some teachers sometimes don't give that knack correctly yeah. or some students don't get it correctly. And then the trouble starts. Yes, yes. We don't know why we learned this, this all things now. I know, every, every, Jobin. I always everything. say this. We study yes. trigonometry, but in every single thing we do in life, yes. there's trigonometry. We didn't know that in yes. school. Yes, yes. Like when actually we sit... an umbrella on the wall, when yes. you balance your phone and yes. watch, everywhere all, there's trigonometry. All based on angles and trigonometry we have. Like how we sit, how we learn, like uh, sitting position, all, all, all based on maths. Like I said, without maths, like... You know, we, one man, Jobin, do you know one man who challenged the trigonometry? It is Michael man. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he leaned backwards like that without falling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Trigonometry yes. failed in front of Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow, I loved this session. I guess yes, all our students loved. Yes, yes. 
dear friends we will be back with more yes our, sure. please share our video subscribe press the bell icon bring yes. your friends also if yes. there are lots of views for our paper one only we can do more and more mm. if there are lots of views and if you really like it and then we will really bring lots of paper one classes and you will all find it easy. Our mission, yes, Jobin and me have a mission. What is that, Jobin? Yes. Hundred percentage in maths and DI. <laughs> Correct. Every one of you should get hundred percent marks in maths and DI. Yes. yes no yes, more sure, fear sure. of maths. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Okay. Thank okay. you, Jobin. Thank so, you. Bye, ma'am. Bye. Bye. Can you stop sharing so that they can yes. see us? Yes. And then yes. we say goodbye to them. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jobin, for this amazing session. Thank we are you. looking Thank forward you, to all the topics. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. Bye. Okay, bye, bye, bye. And bye. one more thing before you go, Jobin, we should give some questions in our Telegram group based on this. Okay, okay. All sure, our sure. Our friends are there and YouTube babies are there in Telegram group, okay. in public group. Okay, okay. Sure, sure. A few sure. questions and we will post it in the Telegram group for practice. Fine. fine. Okay, sure, sure.